and didn't think much of it until the next day I was driving. Um, actually, I was driving after work. I went to go look at an RV because I was looking to purchase an RV at the time uh, to live in and, and get away to escape my life that I didn't like. And your video came on. It was like the next video after whatever I was watching, you know, just played the next video. And I don't know what video it was, but it just said like, it's like, I don't, I can't remember exactly what it said. It was basically like, I'm healing or there's light that's coming out of my hand and you're like, can I see the light? No, but I know it's there. And I like just drop my jaw. I'm like, light's coming out of your hand, what? Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with the splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? Hey, what's up, dude? What's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on, man? You look great, dude. <laughs> so, everything good, man? Yeah, everything's been good. Um, I have been working like crazy. Like I said, I do like 70, 80 hours a week. Wow, dude. It's really intense. Wow. But I do thoroughly enjoy it. I mean, I was doing the same thing I was doing before. I was selling cars. Mm -hmm. But I'm at a place that is actually, like, I don't know. It's just a, a good place. You know, they, they treat nice. people right. They do the right thing, which really is, is a tough thing to find in the car industry. So grateful for that. And I'm getting a promotion now. So Sweet, dude. And somebody as centered as you, they, they have to feel just good energy from you man they just have to feel comfortable and yeah it's and, and i my my intentions my day is not like going in and i'm gonna sell cars today you know it's it's i'm gonna go have fun everything's gonna work out and i know just the sales will just come it's gonna be a yeah. byproduct of having fun and it does and and i have a good time people around me are having a good time so i mean the only reason you wouldn't buy a car is if something was fucked up and you know, <laughs> yeah. control. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a really good place. And now I'm moving into financing. So that's actually a really big promotion. And I'm like, really Oh, excited. nice, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's the real deal. That's that's a skill set that I can apply to many, many things. So I guess I mentioned in my last video that. I was going to start um, interviewing people that had been reconnected for a while. Um, Cause usually, you know, when I do my videos, it's like on the spot and everybody's like, Hey man, what happened to those people? Like, <laughs> did anything permanently happen to them or, or are they like, and so, yeah, man, I thought you'd be perfect. You reached out and you're, you're like me. It's like, there was something inside us that says, man, I'm supposed to do this. Cause I mean, you went and got trained and now you can reconnect people and yeah. So as soon as I learned about this and I just knew, like I knew that is what I'm here for. This is, this is my purpose or at least a very large part of it. And it just continues to be a mind blowing journey. But yeah, it completely changed my life. And like, as soon, all right, so let's, let's go back a little bit. So like in 2018, I think is when I first came across your videos and I was in a really dark place, like in the summer of 2018, I was just going through like, you know, that, <laughs> what is it? Um, like Planet X, that whole thing. Like I was deep, deep, deep into that. Like I truly and fully believed that something terrible was about to happen. No one could tell me otherwise. And I'm literally like yelling at people that don't see it. You know what I mean? Like just trying to just beat them over the head with it. It was really bad. Um, and, and I was just living in this like perpetual state of fear. Like it was just horrible, horrible. I, I hated my life. I hated my relationship. I hated everything in my life, I hated my job, I hated everything. And I don't use hate lightly, you know what I mean? That's a, that's a strong word. But 
I really didn't. I didn't enjoy it at all. And I got into this Planet X thing and then I was like really freaking out then. Like, holy shit, like what are we gonna do? So I was prepping, I was buying guns and ammo and food. Like it was just oh dude, you were legit. Oh, I was in it. <laughs> yeah. I was <going> hard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, dude, yeah. that's when you that's that's legit. Yeah, when you're buying guns and ammo and stocking up supplies and yeah 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 and then so this was the major changing point that that started this path and it was one weekend uh, the wife and kids had left they went somewhere i was home by myself and i had my rifle out on the table cleaning it you know disassembling cleaning going through it and watching something on youtube about you know the world ending naturally and it's like you know what you believe you kind of you you find that information the universe like brings more of that to validate it for you so i found nothing but that i just kept getting it and getting it and i was like yeah um but i'm cleaning my rifle and i'm sitting there i'm looking around i'm watching this program i'm like this fucking sucks like so what if something does happen and then all this shit i'm doing like what is the point of me living in all this fear like I just hated it and I'm looking around and I you know I've always believed in something supernatural or spiritual or God I guess you could say I never subscribed to a religion or organized religions it just even as a kid that felt really off to me and um I just I, I just remember like looking around the room like in the corner or something at nothing I was like all right if anything if this God shit is real like I give you permission to intervene in my life. Like, this is not working for me. I don't like this. I don't know what I'm doing or what I'm supposed to do, but just help, please help. And I never thought anything of it again. Um, and then a few weeks later, I started having interesting experiences, like uh, just being able to feel a presence, like come into the room, you know, there's nobody there, but I could feel something there. And then I would like acknowledge it, talk to it, and it got stronger. And it was just like this, just love, this like beautiful feeling. I had a couple of those experiences. And then I had the visions, which really led me into this. So I was at my brother's house one night, and this is probably in the fall of 2018. And I would go to his house every weekend just to get away from my life because I didn't like it. And I was falling asleep as I was crossing over, like into sleep. I had this this intense experience. It was this vision. It was like inserted into my mind, and like I jumped up, like and my heart's racing, my ears are ringing, like it's a really intense experience. And the the vision was just me looking down at my hands, and I could see like all my fingers were bright balls of light. And I had no idea what to make of that. Yeah. <laughs> so after I calmed down and I went back to sleep and, and didn't think much of it until the next day I was driving. Uh, actually, I was driving after work. I went to go look at an RV because I was looking to purchase an RV at the time uh, to live in and, and get away to escape my life that I didn't like. And your video came on. It was like the next video after whatever I was watching, you know, just played the next video. And I don't know what video it was, but it just said like, it's like, I don't, I can't remember exactly what it said. It was basically like, I'm healing or there's light that's coming out of my hand. And you're like, can I see the light? No, but I know it's there. And it like just dropped my jaw. I'm like, light's coming out of your hand. What? Like what? And it immediately caught my attention. And then I just had to, had to know everything about it at that point and i just yeah. started diving really deep into it and then i um so i ordered the books or eric Perl. i watched all your videos and i came across one of uh, you have a demo video to like teach people how to start feeling the frequencies mm -hmm. and i did it i had no expectation i'm like sure whatever I'm like part thinking I'm crazy, part thinking this is fascinating. And <laughs> I was somewhere in the middle there. So I tried it and I felt it. Like my hands physically reacted to it. And I just like was laughing hysterically and crying at the same time. I'm like, this is just unbelievable. Yeah. 
And then I think that's when I reached out to you the first time um, and we did a distance session Yeah, around that time. And that was interesting as well. Um, so I think that was, I tried to look it up, but I couldn't find it. I think it was like November of 2018. Did we have a session? We did a distance session. I thought first. we had, I thought it was like just a group session or something. No, no, okay. it was before we did the, the group sessions. <clears throat> okay. Um, it was when you you were still doing like 15 minute sessions. Oh, okay. And I remember I was like, yes, I can do that one. Okay. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And then then I did that and I was still reading Solomon Speaks and I was just reading and reading and reading it. And I just knew, you know what I mean? I kept playing with the frequencies that it was like, uh, I'd say probably over a two month period of consistently bringing them through and feeling them. And it was just, they kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And, and it was like after the session it seemed to kind of like jumpstart that a little bit more too. And then uh, once you feel them, it's over. It, yeah. Like, it's because over. you're like, Oh no, that's real. I, I can feel it. And I mean, once that's real, then like it, like, I don't know. It, it was just the proof that I always wanted. I, I needed in my life, you know, cause it's one thing to talk about, Oh, we're made of energy and you know, oh, we're all connected, but what's the proof? Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I kept experiencing proof in my life, but you can rationalize it away and rationalize it away. But when you have a friend lay down and you put your hand over them, you're like, oh God, <laughs> like this is real, man. Something's going on here. <laughs> yeah. Something, yeah, I can't, I can't rationalize this away. No. And you, and you, I mean, I know you realize that those people that you're selling cars to, they're getting a session, and oh, yeah. like, like, like everybody around you is getting a session. Yeah. Like, In my life, that's probably the most interesting thing to me is to see like when I like first when I started at this job it has completely changed there's only two people that are still there when I from when I started mm -hmm. and everybody's changed like everyone was like not everyone but there was a lot of really negative type of people yeah. and they just kind of started either they either shifted or they left yep. in one way yep. shape or form and now it's it was a really good group of people that worked there too which is you know, awesome. You know, okay, but I can see how that's changed, and I can see how people's lives that are around me every day, all day, have changed as well. And a lot of those people have, you know, over time, because I tell everybody what I do, but over time, they're more open to it, or they'll ask more questions about it, and we'll end up doing sessions. <clears throat> so I've done sessions with probably half the people that are there. Nice. I did sessions to the left. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. I'll see you on the other side, man. We'll talk we'll mm -hmm. about this later. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's like when I had the first session, I was at a job that I didn't like. And that's kind of where they were. They didn't like being there, but they were just there, you know, either not wanting to or scared to take the next step or to leave or to move on with their lives. Yeah. But, they have and they're doing really well for themselves too like and and i always kind of thought this like man every company in the world should hire somebody that knows how to do this just to like just to walk around the place <laughs> you know what i mean like just to talk to people hey man how you doing and you'll change that whole company uh, yeah. and then that's what you're talking about you know mm -hmm. you're talking about the, the literally the place you work um it, it, it's changed. It, yeah. it, it has to change people. Oh, I, I don't know if I ever asked you this or heard you say it, but how did you find the reconnection? Like what drew you or where did it come from in your life? Yeah, it was YouTube, man. I was, uh, I was watching Greg Braden, the divine matrix and I got done and I'm so amped up. It's like two o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and the YouTube's like, hey, man, you like the divine matrix. You're going to like the living matrix, the science mm -hmm. of healing. And I flipped it on, dude, and I saw Eric Pearl. And I was like, dude, I got to read that guy's book. And um, probably read about 20 pages of his book. I set the book down. 
lifted up my hands and they felt like magnets. And I was like, my life changed, dude. Like from yeah. that moment on, it, it was the proof. It was like, cause you know, I had been down this rabbit hole of like, we're creating a life. We're made of energy. We're all connected um, for probably like, I don't know, not too long, maybe five years of that. Um, but I'm just one of those guys that needs proof, you know, and most people are really yeah, totally most people, most people. Yeah. I mean, I would, I, I, yeah, I had no idea about anything energy healing that we're all energy. I was just starting on the concept that everything is energy. Yeah. Um, you were too into Nibiru, Nibiru is Nibiru. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> the energy. That's not the energy I wanted. But I guess it, it served its purpose. It led me to, to the path I needed to totally. awaken to this. And I awakened to it so quickly and went through this whole process so freaking fast, which is probably a lot to do with the reconnection. And I also had this just burning tenacity to learn to learn everything about it like yeah. I have to know it so well that I can teach it like that was yeah. my mindset yeah and um, I, I was watching you dude doing when you started your YouTube channel YouTube channel it was beautiful I was like homies he's found he's found it man like this is yeah it was beautiful yeah yeah it was awesome that the only reason I started the channel was to just document and share my experience you yeah know, I, totally. that was that was it because crazy shit kept happening to me like over and over and over again like dreams and experiences with just energy surrounding me or my hands going numb like randomly or just weird weird things yeah and it was all just beautiful and it just was like more and more like it was so much proof that i don't think anyone could deny it if could you deny, it, yeah that, totally you know, but you also can't just tell everyone about those experiences because you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> a little out there. But I mean, yeah. I shared them on my channel, and I got you know a lot of people resonate with it, and a lot of people have had similar experiences too, which is one of the most shocking things to me. Um, where all the experiences people shared with me that they've had with yeah. the, the energy or spirits or whatever it, it was, and it's just it was like this the 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 curtain was open you know this whole other world was revealed to me and it was like holy shit like yeah yeah this is amazing and like this doesn't matter so much anymore because like every there's so much and it's totally oh my god yeah it's, it's beautiful but so all right we so yeah i went to you were in New York at the time. That's when you did my reconnection. Mm -hmm. That was in um, March of 2019. Mm -hmm. So that that's that was the beginning of my new life, I'll say. Because like before, and I remember we did a video then, and I don't know why this popped into my head today. I do, but um, we were talking about because at that time I was trying to remove all these these relationships in my life that weren't serving. And I had gotten away from it. I went back to it and I was, you know, going back and forth. And uh, you had said at that time that like the, the people will leave your life that, you know, those situations or things that aren't serving your, you at that time. And if it's meant to be, they'll come back as you were telling about those experiences you had uh, with friends or family or whatever. And that's, that's what happened. It just, you know, I was in the beginning of it, but now, it's been two years, two and a half years since then. And they have, they've all come back, but and they're different, right? But they're healthy. Yes. They're sound yes. And yeah, you know, it, it, it's very different. Yeah. Um, and I've done sessions with almost all of them. Nice. nice. The people that were calling me crazy for before are, are open to it. You know, it's, you know, when, when you're really, when you're radiating this frequency and you're, re, re, you're radiating this knowing inside you, it is so refreshing for people because they're not, they never meet people that are truly happy. They don't meet people that are content with their life and, and, and know who they are. And, and so when they're around those people, you know, at first it can be kind of threatening, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when you, when, when they, but it's not threatening at all. It, mm -hmm. It's like, and when they realize that, um, 
that's when you just really start changing the lives of everybody that you're around. Yeah, it's yeah. it's um they there's one guy at work that they they all call me happy. Like that's my nickname, is happy. Nice. I just walk around singing and humming and whatever. I have a good time. But uh, there's one guy that's still very much in that energy of the conspiracies and this, that, and the third. And he tries to bring me down to his level all the time. He's like, how can you be so happy when this, this, and this, and this? I'm like, look, I understand. Yeah. I do. I get it. I know about it. Yeah. But I don't choose to focus on that. That's the only difference between you and I. I'm yeah. not choosing to look there. Yeah. You know it exists. I know what's going on. But that's not a dominant energy in my reality and like he can't fathom it <laughs> yeah like, how can you not do it i'm like you know we'll, we'll get there so yeah. like every yeah. every time he talks to me and we have that though i mean you can see he's he's shifting a little bit just i mean he's got a little bit to go i think but it's you can tell i mean he was like angry freaking kicking and screaming at everybody when i started there to now he's not doing that as much yeah 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 that's beautiful man yeah that's um dude i was there for a decade at least you know what i mean like i was totally how we're being controlled well first of all it's always how much we've been lied to and then how much we've been controlled and i did that for a long time man and uh i remember my wife would say uh what why do you watch that and I was like, it gives me like this energy, man. Like, like first of all, I want to know everything. I want to know how we're being controlled. I want to know everything. I want to be able to tell everybody. Mm -hmm. And it, I feel like I get this energy from it. And um, was I getting an energy from it? Yeah, I was totally getting energy from it. But uh, I was just creating the same shit, man. <laughs> like, like, not good energy. I think what it was for me was, when I discovered, when I realized how powerful we are individually, and then I realized that there were probably beings, multidimensional beings that fed off of our fear. And for some reason, when I felt that way, I decided I'll never feed those fuckers anything mm. like I'm nothing. I'm, I'm, and, and it literally, so for, it was that reason that I stopped. It was because I didn't want to feed anybody. It, it's not even probably a healthy way to like look at it, but that was the, that that's really what did it for me. Yeah. Whatever works, whatever, whatever works. Man. Yeah. It doesn't matter at all. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm not feeding those fuckers anything. <laughs> and so that's, I just shut it off, man. Turn it off. And you know, my life changed immediately. As yeah. soon as I stopped um, feeding my energy into, we're being controlled into feeding my energy into I'm, I'm, I'm creating my life. My life changed immediately. Yeah. And I have been free since then. Absolutely. I like that. Because it is a it is a freedom when you can let go of that. Because all those things are that you're focusing on. It's it's like an anchor. It's keeping you in that energy. When you can just let go of that shit, you know, it's 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 free. Totally. It's so free. Totally. It's, it's it's like I hesitate to buy things because I don't want like more shit. You know, I like things sometimes, but I'm really, I, after I sold everything I owned and traveled the country in the very minimalist way, like, yep. and was happier than I'd ever been in my life with nothing, yep. you know, and I just knew every day that I would, I would eat and that everything would work out. You yep. know, it's all I knew and it did. And it yep. continued to over and over and over again for like three months. It just kept going. Totally. <laughs> it was totally. Really, that was that was probably the biggest part of my journey so it was like after the reconnection you know i went back home and then i walked away from everything for good and started over and then i quit my job sold everything i owned and went to california and stayed there for a couple weeks five six weeks and then traveled back across the country and that trip back was the biggest part for me because I spent yeah. like two months driving. I remember you stopped in Sedona and yeah. yeah. 
that was awesome. I really want to go back there. That was that was another thing, just how I was guided to the people to Rahelio, that guy. Yeah. That you know, just found him and and ended up hanging out with him for a couple of days. And yep. the girls that I met down there were actually from New York here, so they're not far away from here. And I still talk to them too, which is interesting. Yeah. But uh I forgot I was going that. But that that was oh, that was like the biggest like i would still been like okay your thoughts create your reality this is we are creating our reality and then you know i think you start freaking out because you're trying to control your thoughts to such a degree that like yeah, oh my yeah. god you start thinking something bad like no 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 and <laughs> yeah. you end up fucking it up you know <laughs> <laughs> totally totally and then the more you can just like let go and be free like it it works for me you know it's just yeah that, that's it everything is always working out for you that's that's the main go-to, and it does. Dude, that that might be the best way to put it, dude. Is like, because that's really what happened to me when I got reconnected. Like somehow, my default became everything's working out perfectly. No matter what happened in my life, I knew that everything was going to work out perfectly. And dude, when when that's your default then nothing can mess with you. Like you're, you're, you're fucking invincible because everything's going to work out mm-hmm. and it does. And, and then the more it does, then the more momentum you get in, it will. And, and, and then you just like, I don't know. It, it's, there's such a freedom. I, I experienced such a freedom in my life that I never experienced before that, before the reconnection. Yeah. Yeah. For me at, at first it was, it was kind of brutal because I had been in such a bad situation that, well, it was negative and toxic for me. Um, and, but like the distance session gave me, the the understanding or I don't want to say that give me the balls to walk away from it get yeah. on my own for the first time you know what I mean I was like there's a whole nother world there's these possibilities are endless you know and I can't be in this situation anymore but then I went back and then after the reconnection I went back home again and then in April I went to Palm Springs which was like two weeks after I saw you yeah I remember and when I got back from Palm Springs, I literally it physically could not go back. Yeah, totally. I tried. I drove no. up to no. it and I, I couldn't eat. I stopped anyway. and I turned around and I went back. I couldn't do it. Okay. I, yeah. I couldn't. I actually, that's what I tell people. They go, um, when, when we're talking about like, like, what's the difference between a healing session and like the reconnection? And I really tell them, I go, I go, if you have a healing session, it's going to bring you back into balance. You're going to feel great. You're going to feel almost like a little reset button has been hit. But if you go back into that toxic environment and you start having the same thoughts, your frequency is going to slowly come back and you're going to find yourself in the same exact spot. Mm -hmm. I go, now here's how the reconnection is different. You won't be able to go back and do it. You won't. Like you, you will say, I can't do this anymore. I'm I'm done. And so, like that to me is the difference. Um, like a healing session gives you the chance to start over, but the reconnection goddamn guarantees it that you, you you're not gonna you, it it's it feels so wrong that you just can't do it anymore. You're like, I, 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 I'm i done. I, I don't care what, I don't care what happens. Anything is going to be better than this. I can't fucking do this anymore. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a great way to say it too, because I've done, like I've had people that contacted me through um, the reconnection website that are mm-hmm. local here, which is freaking awesome. I love nice. it. But uh the this one girl has, she's done four or five sessions this is before i was doing the reconnection too uh-huh. um, and she just kept coming back like those first two or three was like the reset you know what i mean and they were within like a three-week period and then she was all right and then came back like two or three weeks later like another two times yeah but she kept going back right back into that knowing like 
she couldn't stand it. She, like it reminded me of me and my situation. It was like that level of toxicity, I guess. Yeah. And that's that's really interesting. I haven't heard from her in a while. That's good. I like that analogy for the the reconnection because that's exactly what it was. Like I was when I came back from Palm Springs, I was I always tell everyone I was like I was in this bubble of like love. Like I was just so surrounded and and embodied that self love so much and it was like for two weeks dude nothing could touch me like I've never been on that like high of love before for so long like it it permanently changed my like set point you know what I mean vibration was permanently altered totally it's funny because when I went to um Mount Shasta they do the training for the reconnection I was thinking that that might happen again and this is when I actually realized it like that might have that feeling because you know I had like 19 reconnections facilitated to me. Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> but you're uh, already there. Yeah, but I didn't have the same feeling because I'm already there. You're already there, dude. Yeah. It didn't really change anything, and that's where it like realized to me. I'm like, damn. Yeah, right. you're there. Yeah, and it's awesome. Yeah, I and I tell people that too. I go, you know, when 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 I first got reconnected and I first got into this. Um, I was having magical otherworldly things happen to me, man, especially with like electronics and like these, mm-hmm. just, I had crazy things happening. I mean, I'm not even shitting you, dude. Like if, if I would like ask something, like when I first got reconnected, the light would like start flickering and mm-hmm. like, you know what I mean? Like I'd walk in a room and my kids toys would like turn on and oh I'm like, God. what yeah. is going on, man? It happened to uh, me a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so I I think that like, yeah, I I think that I, I've heard that, you know, your frequency can't lower. And I think that's true. I I, I think that, I think that we're like, I don't know. I I think we're there and like, Mm -hmm. we can keep going up, but I I think we're done going down, dude. You know what I mean? Like, um, I mean, that doesn't mean like we don't have challenges in our life, Mm -hmm. you know, things like that. Yeah, that's what I would say. You dip, you can dip down, but it's it's more of a reaction to whatever's. Yeah, it's not your set point, like you right. said. Like the set and, point is here, and yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. And even if I have a reaction or a challenging day or whatever, at the end of the day, I know, like once you walk away from it, and I and this is what is is changes over time. The most that that I've experienced is like something that triggers you. Well, first off, not almost nothing triggers me. There's still a few little things, but it's mm-hmm. it's got to be a lot. It's really it takes a lot to to knock me off balance, and and the amount of time I stay off of balance shortens with every time Absolutely I get off do. balance. So now it's like unless it's a major fucking event that generally doesn't happen, it's you know a couple minutes reset. Yep. I walk away, go take a walk. Totally go go sitting under a tree for a couple minutes and it's like all right like this is this is what this is about you know this is life this is the this is where i'm at you know that really isn't important that doesn't matter at all and then i go back completely reset happy again like and it's just like at first it was like a week i I could be off for a week and then it would be a couple days and then a couple hours and now it's still like as soon as I realize it, as soon as I see those thoughts and I can, you know, I'm really conscious of my thoughts and where they go. Cause if they start wandering to something old or my old life or uh, an experience I didn't enjoy, it doesn't feel good. It like really doesn't feel good in, in your body. And I'm like, Oh, okay. No, we're not going there. And we just go back out. That's amazing. When you can yeah. do that. And just that alone, dude, is like priceless. I yeah. mean, it's, it's, it's just priceless. Yeah. How else do you feel like you've changed? Well, I've changed everything. Everything. Mind, body, soul, all of it. Um, hey, you look different, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. I lost a lot of weight. You I lost weight. You're in crazy shape. Yeah. yeah. When we when we met, I was like 220 pounds. So I had already, I was 265 pounds at my heaviest. So wow. I was like 220, 230 when I saw you in New York. Um, and then from that, cause that was March of 19, 
from that point until August, September of 2019, I was at 150 pounds. Wow, dude. Yeah. I would imagine that that desire like happened so naturally. Like it did. It was almost inevitable. Like, like it probably wasn't even like a bit. It probably was like this where you one day you woke up and you go, Oh my god, I'm a different person. It was. It was just so natural. So natural. Like when in the beginning I, I had an intention to lose 30 pounds. Like that's how I started. Like that that's how I got to 220. I'm like, I just intend that. And I just kept doing that over and over. But you know, then a reconnection just kind of and as I was intending that more and more, it just seemed that people and situations and food, like everything shifted. Like mm-hmm. the biggest thing was not eating like a massive amount of food. You don't need to eat that much food to be nourished <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I was eating a lot I like food um and and then you know I was the different people in my life like when I traveled I had a different mindset I wanted to eat more like soups and salads than I wanted cheesesteaks and things yeah. like that so eating habits shifted I was going like trying more um uh what's it called conscious eating I guess you could say so just whatever like felt good you know whatever my body reacted to in a good way like what what should I have today I would ask that and like run my finger down a menu and just like whatever made me tingle like I would eat yeah that. nice that was, that was cool um but it just kind of happened just so gradually but consistently over that like seven or eight months or whatever it was six seven eight months something like that and uh I remember when I first got under 200 pounds because I went in to the doctor. I had to get a physical for this job I was doing. And he was like, you're 185 pounds. I was like, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> like I haven't been under 200 pounds in like 10 years. Man. Like This is awesome. So, nice. and then it just kind of kept going. I, I plateaued at like 170 for a while until I started traveling back across the country and then I met someone that was into a keto diet so I tried that for like 60 days and that 20 pounds just melted off in like three weeks nice wow it's gone I wasn't even really doing anything but um keto and intermittent fasting and all the water weight was gone and I was only eating like fats and proteins and I ate like once a day and I was, I never felt hungry. I was full. Like I, I just didn't crave food. And if I was hungry, I would eat like nuts or something, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. Awesome. yeah. You look great, dude. Thank you. Yeah. You look absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I got so skinny. I was like, <laughs> like, all right, I need to work out now. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I started doing that. And then I didn't know what I was doing for a couple months. Um, but I, you know, I was getting stronger and then I was like, all right, I guess I'll take this seriously. And then I started like researching it and how to properly work out and different exercises to do. And it's changed my life. It's really changed my life. Like I feel good and confident to take my shirt off now, which I haven't had since I was in high school, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah totally. <laughs> totally. But yeah, that's changed. Um, what else changed? I mean, everything changed. So that was the mind. That was the body change. My mind's changed from that. You know, I just don't. I don't do anything with the toxic or drama or just anything that doesn't feel good. Like I don't. I don't do it. And if I'm in a situation that doesn't, like, but generally I don't. That's another thing I've been. Uh, I've recognized. There could be drama and shit that pops off at work, but I am never there when it happens. Yeah. out in the back lot or i'll just be happening to get gas in a car or something when the blow up happens i come back and i, I didn't even know yeah. anything happened yeah. and I'm like, Dude, did you see that i'm like no what <laughs> yeah. I'm never around for it which is awesome and then i recognize that too and, you know that's i was guided away from it so i totally. really get around that because that the energy doesn't match yeah, that's that's weird because I was just tell I just had a friend in town and that's why I was late doing this. Uh, he was just in Arizona for a funeral and he was telling me about this really intense, crazy interaction he had with these people. And I was like, I don't, I, I, I haven't had an interaction like that in like, I mean, like forever. 
years and years and years, I haven't had that. And I was like, is it because I live in a bubble world? Mm -hmm. Or is it because I'm repelled? Like, like, you know, am, am I guided away from that? Or I don't know. I just don't have these, these, these loud, angry interactions with people. And it's been so long. It's like, dude, am I like, what's going on? Like, how can I not have any, like, I don't know. Yeah. That's, that's it. Like it just, the energy doesn't match. You know, if you're of that energy and that drama, like you're going to attract that. Like I have a guy I work with, he's a DJ, but every time he, like, he thinks that way. Every time he goes out, he'll walk down the boardwalk and they'll so gonna happen. break out in front of him all the way down. People yeah. get robbed and jump. I walked down the same boardwalk like a week earlier and it was nothing but great experience. <laughs> yeah, like, totally. like, like everywhere he goes, that totally. shit happens too. Everywhere I go, good things are just, yeah. nothing bad's happening. I put and, it that way. And so that's, I think that's like, that's that level of like, you know, you have all these people in the new age spiritual world and talk about, oh, we're shifting to this fifth dimension. And I don't know, man, I, I, I think that it's happening individually. And I think I've been in it for a long time. And like, uh, I think you're living in it. And like, like, it's like individually we're shifting. And, you know, when people say, oh, we're have we're creating our own experiences, dude, we're creating our own experiences. We're, we're having a completely different experience on this planet to what our neighbor's having or what, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, but yet we're together. So somebody said something left a comment and it was about my first video i ever made i was just thinking about that the lover fear train dude that is like unfolding that was the best first video to ever yeah. make because it's like like that's what's happening now dude like here it is man and um I mean, I, I didn't come up with that. You know, that was just... That was Bashar. That's yeah, actually Bashar. what got me to watch Bashar was that video. Like a couple minutes ago, something you said made me think about that. And I was going to bring it up. So I'm glad you said something. That's awesome. Because that is, it's exactly what happened. Because you, oh, when you said your neighbor's having a completely different experience. Yeah. That love and fear could be completely different world that they're attracting. And you're in that love bubble. You know what I mean? And yeah. Just living completely two different experiences but you can see each other so we're on the same plane but we're not we moved back to colorado um like one of my neighbors came over and he was like hey man we got this poker game I, i've probably played like 15 times in my life before uh, this and so i started playing this poker game with these guys every week or every other week i love these guys like these guys are so much fun and it's like are these guys great or like, or am I creating this great version of them? You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Are they really this cool <laughs> or, <laughs> or well, just around me or like, like, am I, like, I, I don't know. Kind of both. I mean, when you're in that, everything's always working out for me, you're going to attract the, the best part of that person when you're around at least you know what i mean yeah um, if you're just in your bliss and happiness you're just gonna uh, yeah extract that from other people it's it's hard to be negative around someone that's happy unless you're just truly a negative like person you know yeah. what i mean like it's really it's really difficult i i don't think that i used to be this way before i got reconnected like i i don't i think i remember being like Going home, and be like that dude's kind of a dick. Like, you know, mm -hmm. that guy's kind of an asshole. Like, I don't really like, but like, I can't remember the last time I felt that way around somebody. So maybe the guy is a dick to other people, <clears throat> but I'm just creating this best that's, version of him. Yeah, that's so interesting. You had you said that like that guy was a dick to him. There was this guy at work the other day. He was this older dude. And everyone, all the every salesperson that walked by him, he said some kind of dick remark. I didn't hear it. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I walked up to him and he kind of made a joke with me. But yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 
do you need help? And he was like, yeah. I was like, cool, what can I help you with? He's like, oh, like you can't help me. He's like, I need a lot more help than that. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's yeah, like, you yeah. got any money? And I just started laughing and walked away. And then I talked to the other people and he was like, this one guy's got long hair. He called him like a girl. He's going to put lipstick on him and stuff. Like, like really ignorant shit. And I was like, really? And he, he was, he was. So cute, cool to me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, I think that's what's happening, dude. I think that as your vibration rises, we are creating the best possible version of that person during our interaction. And they have to respond that way because if our vibration's up here and they're down here and we come at, like, I, I don't know. I, I just, well, that, the energy's got to meet somewhere on a level plane. They can't, like, it's like that, that literal feeling of not being able to go back home is because those energies are so far off. Yeah. It's either you bring it down and they bring it up or it's you, it's, they got to meet somewhere. I know in my heart that if we lower to meet them, we're doing them a disservice yeah. and they need us to not meet them. They need us to be that example. And they, I think they can feel that because, you know, people are usually around people that are trying to like get something from them or trying to like boost their ego or like, like whatever, um, when you approach somebody from just your heart and you don't need anything from them, I think you're more likely to create a better version of them. Yeah. I got a, I got a quick question. I'm probably going to edit this out. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so <we> preface it. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Like, so. well, that was awesome, man. That was a good talk. Yeah. Cool, man. Um, uh, did you want to uh, mention anything before we hang up or? Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll just leave it at that then. <laughs> that's, that's, Life is good. Yeah. You can't say anything. Just, cool, just, man. just have fun. Yes. Enjoy life. That's that's the biggest thing. That's what I've learned the most, just to have fun. When you have fun, everything that you want and desire is a byproduct, and it's going to happen. It, it's just fun. This, yes. this, we're meant to have fun. Yes. Joyful expansion is what I've come to understand is our purpose here. So you're going to expand one way or another, but it's a lot better when you have fun doing it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Totally. Yeah. It's funny because you sometimes just say like, like, what are you here for, man? And you're like, dude, to have as much fun as possible. And they're like, you're like, no, that's, that's, that's a it. good, that's a good goal yeah. is to have as much fun as possible, man. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. we're here to learn. It's like, no, dude, you're going to learn anyway. Like, right. You're like, we're here to evolve. No, you're going to evolve anyway. It's going to happen. Have as much fun as you can. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay, bro. It was awesome to see you, man. Yeah, you too, man. When are you coming around? Oh, that's what you were going to ask me. You asked me where I was at. I'm in Maryland. Maryland. Okay. Yeah. It's, and so outside of Baltimore. Okay. Well, cool. All right. Yeah, man. Well, if you ever come around the area, let me know. And um, yeah, we should do this again soon. This was fun. Okay, bro. Talk to you, man. All right, man. Peace. Bye. It's just another Friday in paradise So bring your A-game Cause you know this party won't stop We could never run out of time Sipping strawberry lime You know I wanna share it with you This is going boom, boom If you're looking for some crazy